like to call the ABC to consider when packing. A stands for accessibility, B stands for bulk, and C stands for comfort. These are three main concepts that we want to keep in mind as we're packing our backpack for a climbing trip. What I mean by accessibility are things that I want to have easy access to as I'm going down the trail, and things that I won't really need until I get to camp closer to the bottom of my pack. When I think about bulk, I'm thinking about things like sleeping bags, pads, bigger items that I'm going to be trying to put lower in my pack to take up space and get more weight lower so my pack doesn't become top heavy. And comfort, that just means that I don't want one side of my pack heavier than the other or something poking me in the back to have the most pleasurable experience as I'm going down the trail. So we ask that you have at least a 65 liter backpack, which just allows enough room for all of our items to fit. So the first step in packing your backpack is putting in a liner bag. That's why we ask you to bring a large trash bag or contractor bag. And this, we just stuff into the pack. And then the edges we're going to fold over. This way we're putting everything into this waterproof bag so that if it does rain, nothing gets too wet. So the first thing items I'm going to be packing are my bulkier items that I won't be using until I get to camp. So that would be my sleeping bag, stuff down the bottom. On top of that, I'll probably put my inflatable sleeping pad. Then after that, I'm going to add in layers that I'm not going to be using until later. So things like our puppy jacket, maybe our base layers, uh, one of our soft shells, just any layers that I won't really need on the hike end. These guys I'm just stuffing down in the pack, kind of taking up space, those awkward spaces that are left from our sleeping bag, I'm just shoving them into there. Then I'm going to add in things that I as well won't need till I get to camp or later. So items like my furnace, carabiners, I can just kind of stuff those guys in as well. Maybe our cord, our cutlery bowls, mugs. The stuff I know I won't be using till at least dinner time. Then I'm gonna throw in my food that I won't be needing on the hike in. So that's probably our dinners, as well as our breakfast. And I'm just kind of stuffing those in the pack, taking advantage of those extra little spaces. Additional items like warm hats, buff, warm gloves, I'm also adding into the main pocket because I won't be needing those until later. So that's pretty much all that I put into the main pocket. So I just close up my liner bag and secure this. So for my remaining items, I'm leaving out things that I might need as I'm hiking. And those items, I'm going to be putting either in the brain of my pack, or this pack has a really great additional front pocket. So in this additional front pocket, I'm going to probably put my rain layers, right? I want to have easy access to rain layers in case it starts to rain while I'm hiking. I'm also going to be adding in my medical kit if I get anything on the trail. In addition to that, I want to be adding my sunscreen, chapstick, really important, right, to be constantly reapplying those things so I want to have easy access to them. My headlight, just to be on the safe side, sunglasses, never know if it's going to be super sunny. My wag bags, never know when you might need to use the restroom. And then I'm also going to have really easy access to yummy snacks to pull out on my breaks while I'm hiking in the base camp. So throw those in there. All right, and then my water bottles for our hike in, I want to make sure that those are filled and on the outside of my pack so that I can also have really easy access to water as I'm hiking along. So the remaining items that we have here are items that we either want to put on the outside of our pack or items that we're going to be using while we're hiking up to base camp. So our crampons, on this pack we have a nice little crampon pouch that we can just slide those in. 
If your backpack does not have this, a great place to stick those crampons right between the top of the pack and the brain, and then just cinch this down. But since we have this nice pouch, we're going to stick those right in there. Our ice axe, we're going to take the spike of the axe and place it through a bottom loop. We want to make sure that our pick is towards the inside of our pack, not towards the outside. This way it doesn't get caught on anything or trip someone up. We're going to place it directly through without twisting or turning it at all. And then once the head of the axe is through the loop, we're going to twist it up on itself. See there, now it catches and it won't be sliding off of our pack. Then we're just going to find an upper loop to secure the shaft. As for our helmet, these we want to make sure that we either have strapped to the outside of our pack here or the top of our pack. We never want to put our helmet at the bottom of our pack because it can compromise essentially what is protecting our head. So we want to make sure it's, it's always in a nice safe place. Like so. And then for our early season climbs, we recommend that you bring a foam pad. Um, these guys you don't want to put on the inside of your pack because they're just like bulky, take up a lot of space. And they're super durable, so they are totally fine to be on the outside. I'm just going to strap this down here. They also make a really great seat to just pull out quickly at any stop to sit on. And there's our pack. So most of our climbs, you'll be wearing your mountaineering boots the whole time all the way up to base camp. But if you choose to use trail runners, mostly in our later season climbs, the best way to attach these to our pack is take one of the side straps here and just loop the boot through. Another thing we want to make sure is that the laces are nice and tucked in. And this way, by putting the toes down and the heel up, it kind of traps it in there in those straps. We're going to do that for each side of our pack. Like so. And then our backpack is ready. Our trekking poles are most likely going to be using the whole time so these can stay out. And we're pretty much ready to go.